baddies. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Alexis Barber, I'm 22, I live in Brooklyn. I work full time in big tech and I'm also a content creator and this weekend we are going to LA. Exciting! So my new role at my job is technically based in LA and I'm a Sagittarius so I can't be in the same place for very long. So originally I scheduled this trip to decide if I wanted to move to LA, is like that was the purpose of it. Now I don't think I wanna move to LA, but I do want to go. And when I made the decision to go, it turned out my friend Jazzy was also gonna be there that weekend, that I was gonna be able to just hang out with so many more people. So I said, fuck it, we're going to LA. It is Thursday evening. My flight is at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I'm about to go do that one last final Target trip where you spend way too much money to travel. So let's go, and then we'll come back, finish packing, and get out of here. Back from Target, I couldn't really vlog since it's raining and super windy, but in addition to the shit I got, I just want to be honest about something. So I um, um, can afford to travel and like make my decisions to travel because we have this really cool thing within my company where basically you can just rent out your apartment wherever you're staying to someone and like you know they're trusted because you work at the same place. I couldn't find one for LA that would have made sense for me, like they were just sort of out of nowhere. Someone is staying at my apartment while I'm gone, which is why there's so much preparation required for me when I go somewhere because I have to like leave my apartment spotless do all the laundry, all that type of thing, and that's why it takes so much more work. So that is the reason why I get so stressed when it comes to traveling. But I went to Target and I picked up a new this because I'm taking the red eye back. So you guys know I always bring my electrolytes, um, some wet ones, some hair cream, some curl smoothie. I got a travel toothbrush because I want to pack my suitcase and be ready to go tonight. I don't want to wait until tomorrow when I brush my teeth in the morning. Makeup remover wipes. I don't like using makeup remover wipes. I prefer to find some balm, but I could not find any today. So I picked some of this up and then I got some CeraVe because I'm out of my travel lotion. So like I showed you already, I have a travel like toilet. I don't even know if I have showed you actually. This is my packing setup at the moment. So I have this little thing that I usually keep packed with everything I need to travel in it. So I've got my hair stuff and then I threw in some random other stuff and like this has to go obviously because it's empty. And the other side has all my makeup and dry stuff. This is all my wet stuff that goes in here. And then down here, so all the clothes are on this side and then all the bags and shoes are over here, and then this is gonna go right there, and hopefully it all fits and closes. I'm a little annoyed because I have seat 22D, which is like the very back of the fucking plane, but it's fine. Um, I just hope that it doesn't mean I have to check my bags, you know? 30 minutes till therapy. Gonna wash my hair and shave in the meantime so that I can just chill and potentially cry after that. to my hotel room. I'm exhausted. I've been up since technically 4 a.m. my time. Now 3 p.m. LA time, which means it's 6 p.m. New York time, which means a bitch needs to take a nap. So I'm gonna take a nice shower. Although I have a good amount of friends in LA, I did not wanna stay with any of them because I don't like when people stay with me. I like to have control and I wanted to scope out some like trendy but affordable hotels for you all, which I have found. So it's slightly backlit, but it's pretty funky, you know? So we have a king-size bed. Don't know why the fuck Spider-Man is watching me. Safe there, which is nice. Then this bathroom. 
Honestly, on the website, I thought the bathroom was gonna be a lot smaller than this, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. Is that makeup? Oh, those are sweet. Those are cute, but it's all marble. Shower's huge, rainfall head, which is fabulous. This is like just really cute. There's this, I went to Trader Joe's to get water because I'm as smart as fuck. And this here, ooh look, there's some cute girls outside. And then this is my spot. So I do wish that I was on a higher floor, but that would have been like more expensive. So I took a delicious shower. It was amazing obviously laid out all my products. Now I'm just throwing this on to go grab a quick bite at this Thai restaurant that's really close. Um, but I'm gonna eat that Thai food, hopefully I'll put me to sleep. Then I'll take an hour nap after. And I'm gonna have the girls meet me at my hotel because it has a really nice rooftop. And then we're gonna go to dinner at like 9.30. And then we're gonna go, hopefully we'll go out, we'll see. Here is the Thai food, let's hope it's good. Okay, baddies, this mirror does not do anybody justice, but I'm about to meet up with Jazz, Jamie, and Alexa. I get drinks here, and then we're going to Gracias Madre, and my face looks really bad in that mirror, so let's look at this one. They're about to be here. I'm excited because I just had a whole panic attack because I haven't traveled alone in a very long time, and it made me very anxious. Hike Runyon Canyon. It's what all the LA girlies do. But like, how the fuck am I supposed to look good on that hike? Like, so I'm putting some got to be on the edges because there's like no fucking way that I get to the top of that shit with my out of shape ass and still have a semblance of looking good. Like there's just not one single way adding extra deodorant. I was gonna wear this cute red set, but then I was like, I'm gonna sweat in this. So no, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I need to do it because I need to exercise. Anyway, I don't know if I did a very good recap of my night last night, but I went out. Um, we went to this place in Santa Monica, it was fun. And I didn't get so drunk that I was like disgusting. I still feel a little bit nauseous right now, but I feel like that'll wear off soon. Oh, I should take some nausea before we go because I don't want to be gross. about to be here to go to dinner but i had the best time at melrose i had such a good time and almost met marianne hewitt but my parking meter is running out so i am now dressed i'm gonna go to drinks in santa monica and then dinner with my best friend from high school from college and that's all i'm just wearing a cute dress it's fine i might be overdressed who cares I'm exhausted and i'm gonna go home early so i'm gonna check out tomorrow morning because i and I have just too much going on in my life and I have to, so. Oh, I'm not, I'm looking at myself. Hey baddies, <clears throat> it is Sunday. 
Last night went to Santa Monica Proper Hotel, which was gorgeous. Had dinner there with a few friends and I had the best time. It was gorgeous. I feel like I didn't look good in any of my pictures though. I need to deep dive. Either way, had a great time. Then went to dinner with Tyler, my best friend at the sushi place. Didn't vlog it very much because it was very dark. Then went out with Talia and Jazzy. Kind of like low energy because like I think none of us were drunk enough and also none of the places we went were that fun, but it's okay, we survived. Then I came home and went to bed and now my flight is at 1.30, it's 10. I'm gonna run to Phil's for a coffee and then I'm gonna come home, come back, finish packing everything up. I made the decision to go back a day early because just things were changing. Needed to get back for some personal reasons. And I'm happy about it. I think I got everything out of LA that I wanted and I'm very happy about that. I also just really need to be back in New York. I'm still gonna have to sleep at Jeff's because someone is staying at my place but I'm excited to help him like organize and move in. I just feel really, um, how do you say? I have a lot of thinking and journaling to do right now, TBH. Like I feel weird and like it's hard to be myself and I'm gonna go figure that out. It's time to end the vlog. I love you all. Have a fabulous day. And don't forget to follow me on social media and you're too smart to not love yourself.